Hi, welcome to another Zero tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at the scenario where a customer has paid for an invoice, but you've then had to issue a refund. So we're going to look at how to deal with that correctly. So here in this example, I've got my customer Joe Blogs, and I've got this invoice for them for 3760, which they paid here. So I just match the invoice to the amount. Now, imagine Joe's asked for a refund, which I've paid here. How do we correctly deal with this refund? Well, firstly, we've got to create a credit note. So I head to the sales screen and I create a new credit note, clicking here. Now, I tend to keep the original invoice open so that I can correctly copy the details over. So it's to Joe Blogs and today is the issue date. In the reference, I tend to put the invoice number that I'm refunding for. And then I can just simply put refund on invoice. And then I put the amount, which is 3760. Now, for the chart of account code, this box here, it's really important to use the same code as you did in the invoice. So I see here it's the sales code. So I use exactly the same code and then I click approve. So that's the credit note created. Now, usually what Xero does is match the amount to the transaction that's been created. However, in this case, it doesn't automatically do that. And that's because you actually have to add a payment transaction to the credit note. So you see it's not matching. So to do that, we go back to the credit note, we go down to this uh, box here and I put in the details, so I refunded it on the 5th of June um, from my main business account. Now, you don't have to fill in the reference box, but if you've got a lot of transactions to reconcile, you might want to. So I'll just put invoice for for refund, click add refund. Then I'm going to go back to my bank reconciliation screen. I'm going to refresh the screen, find that bank statement line. And what you'll find is now the transaction will actually match the refund. So I press, the, I press OK, all sorted, and I'll show you how that actually looks in the credit notes here. There's that cash refund. And for more videos like this, click like and subscribe.